ಚಿತ್ಸಭಾವಾಯಭಾವಾಯಭಾವಾಯಭಾವಾಯಭಾವಾಯಭಾವಾಯಭಾವಾಯಭಾವಾಯಭಾವಾಯಭಾವಾ
what this soul is about nitty gritty thing about so so all these four types of uh, scriptures that we learn the bottom line bottom line is one and one and one only how to obtain dispassionate state how to obtain vitragta so everything we learn even in the six substances that we learn we went through detail so that way i know who i am at the same time i know who i am not so those are the things we learn so ultimately the importance of all the things that we learn is how can i get dispassionate state means how can i realize my soul so vitragta is the basis for learning all these things that we are talking about in in that context now we are going to go through this uh, slide and we'll see kind of revision about the whole substance chapter that we went through for last 30 classes means uh, what six seven months <clears throat> seven months or seven eight months so what we learn that we are just going to put in nutshell so it gives us kind of a uh, 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 important thing that what are the important things i have to keep in mind what are the things i may not have to worry about too much of course we have gone through so great detail that at least uh, you have some idea not some idea you have lots of idea about a given substance and what that substance is what that substance can do what that substance has relationship with me and all the things so we learn those things so here we are now we are going to go through the next things is, is the slides we are going to bring the slides over here now share screen share screen <clears throat> okay <clears throat> okay so we are going to go through summary of all the six substances that we learned so far so let's see how it goes <clears throat> okay now we will start with the niyamsa slok number 51 the slok number 51 it says iti jina marga byo de ruddhata purva suri vihi pritya shatadravya ratna mala kantha varanaya bhavyanam in gujarati it says e rite jin marga rupi ratna karma thi purva acharyo e priti purva shatadravya rupi ratno ni mala Bhavyana Kantana Avrane Arthe Bhar Kadishe. We'll just go through the detail of this slok, what it says. What it says that <clears throat> there is an ocean of passionless path to obtain liberation. There is an ocean of passionless path to obtain liberation. <clears throat> the enlightened monks means our true teachers we uh, you know actually our temple has a lock box and the lock box is a number 1306 and uh, when that uh, uh, sri fulchan sastri came to phoenix and i took him to temple and uh, he said oh you're putting some number what is that i said i'm putting that number so i was putting 1306 and he says, he's a numerologist. So he says, you know what? This is extremely significant number you have it. I said, what does it mean? He said, you are entering temple. And temple is a set of a, a seat of a place where you learn something. So one three is a 13th Gunsthana. 13th Gunsthana is a Aryan Bhagwan, Kevli Bhagwan. Aryan Bhagwan means well, let's let's presume uh, at all 24 Bhagwan and out of which my son Bhagwan was a 24th Tirthankar. So he is the one who gives discourses to us, mundane soul, to understand what the reality is. He has experience 
he has seen that he has he's experiencing every moment and now he is presenting to us in the uh, 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 scriptural form so 13 gurstana is a uh, 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 place where the the this, uh, the uh, lectures are given by uh, uh, omniscient lord and then second place is a sixth gunsthana means the monk the monk who has realized his soul and he has now progressed further now he has become a true a naked monk he has experiencing of his soul and now he is uh, uh, analyzing scriptures and he tells us what it is so the enlightened monks of course we don't have tirthankar bhagwan right now here so best we have is an enlightened monks that enlightened monk will give the uh, he he went in in this ocean and extracted extracted diamonds of these six substances the six substances like a jewels the precious diamonds precious stones they took it out from the ocean and they made the necklace out of these diamonds this precious stones they make the necklace and this necklace is given to the gift gifted to the bhavijiv who are the bhavijiv one who has potential for liberation so that's a picture says that there is a about the necklace that you are wearing which are which is part of the six substances and while i understand the six substances now i'm going to progress further the word came bhaviji what is bhaviji means bhaviji means one who has potential for liberation means there are infinite souls in this universe unfortunately there are few souls out of this infinite soul the few souls they will never ever 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 obtain liberation never 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 no matter what they do they will not obtain liberation means no matter how much study of the scripture he does how much fasting and uh, 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 conduct he he, uh, he performs he does puja and swadhyay and bhakti and uh, uh, tap and everything but he will not obtain liberation question comes to me and you are we one of those person that we will never obtain liberation i'm looking for happiness you are looking for happiness we all are looking for happiness and happiness is within happiness is self-realization and so i would like to have self-realization but if i don't get self-realization i can never obtain liberation so to obtain liberation the very first step is to obtain self-realization am i the person who will never ever 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 get self-realization and that is a that's a wish that's a thing that that's a that's a thought that we have to dwell upon and just see what it means then if, if i'm not going to get liberation why should i do all this this the study of scriptures and all the things padmanandi panchavin padmanandi acharya in uh, uh, he's uh, he wrote down panchavisanti in name in, in, he wrote that a scripture named panchavisanti and he wrote down one slok it says tat priti priti chittena yena varta pi hi suta nischitam sab nischitam sab bhavet bhavyo bhavi nirvana bhajanam what it means padmanandi acharya says any living being who has listened to the story of the soul with attentiveness he says that person is a bhavijiv that person will obtain liberation in the uh, he has potential to liberation in the future means 
I'm not one of those Abhavijji who will never, ever, 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 ever get liberated. I have a potential to get liberated. How will I get liberated? That's the next thing coming. But I have a potential actually. I'm able to. I have a choice. If I go on the right path, I can get liberation. If I'm on the wrong path, I won't get it. But I have, I have a potential because I'm listening to the, to the scriptures with my intent to learn more about the reality. I'm just not like somebody who says, oh, this is crazy, this is not right, and this is too detailed, and I can't understand, and I don't want to do it. Some people get merely frustration out of it. We should not, we are not one of those people. So, yes, we are Bhavijiv. Bhavijiv means we have potential for liberation. Now, when we will get liberated, it all depends upon us. I put my self-effort in the right direction, then I can make it. What is the right direction? That I'm learning right now. Out of these six substances, I'm the soul substance. In the soul substance, I'm the eternal soul substance. I have the modifications, I have infinite at all those things I learn about it. To know the nature of the soul substance. And once I know the nature of the soul substance, then I can put my faith on it. When I put my faith on it, that's called Samyak Darshan. Once Samyak Darshan, then I can get further progress to get liberation in the future, in which I will get everlasting happiness and pure knowledge and uh, uh, bliss. Now, when I was making the slides, I said, what's the difference between our philosophy and the other philosophies? Somebody will say that uh, you become martyr and you just go and blow out some uh, uh, enemies and then you'll be liberated. You'll be going to the over, uh, you'll be going to the heaven. Here we are also, here Acharya Bhagavan also promises something. But this promise is not an empty promise. This promise, he tells us, these are the pathways. These are the facts. These are the pathways we have walked on it. These are the pathways by walking on it, we have obtained self-realization. If you walk on it, you can get self-realization and you can get liberation in the future. You don't have to do it. Nobody's imposing on us. So difference between other philosophies, some philosophies will say, well, the, the dead has to be buried only. Why? Because then the Lord will come and those who are following his uh, 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 philosophy, his religion, he will take them to the heaven. No, we, our Acharya Bhagavan never gives any promise. He says, these are the pathway, time-tested pathway. We have walked on it. You walk on it. You can get happiness also. You can get bliss. It's up to you. Not only we are not pushing on somebody to have it done by this way, only that's it. No, we are not. We are just laying down the principles for them. So we are that you, you one should not have at least question that am I Bhaviji or Abhaviji? Now, now what's the difference between Bhaviji and Abhaviji? One difference is Bhaviji. Even though this Bhaviji could be into the Nigod, he has never come out of Nigod yet. Since time infinite, never, 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 never has come out. He also has potential for liberation. And there are some, some living beings, they could be human, but they may be Abhaviji also, means they have no potential for liberation. Well, how do I differentiate that thing? Well, to differentiate that one, let's see the structure of the uh, soul. If you see the structure of the soul of the Bhaviji, who has potential for liberation, and Abhaviji, who has no potential for liberation, 
structure were exactly the same. You go into you go to the lab, do the dissection, you find it out. Both these souls, they are exactly the same. Same soul substance, same infinite attributes, same in uh, modes of coming again and again and again. All those things are exactly the same. They have the knowledge attribute, they have knowledge mode, they also know it. All those things are there. But there is something called Mount Meru, Meru Parvat. We have not done that kind of things yet, but uh, somewhere on the line we'll do the uh, Gen Geography also. So that way we know what those mountains are, Mount Meru is there. In the center of the universe there is Mount Meru. Mount Meru is a one which can never, never, never ever move. The no earthquake or no, no, no tornado, no winds, no rain, no sun, nothing can move it. It's in the center of the universe. It's there, period. Nothing can move there. Underneath that Mount Meru, there is evidence of a gold. And I have the gold coming from the mine. There are some mines are there in Arizona that you just got this dirt and then you can just potentially look at it and do process everything. Gold particle can come out. So that mine over here, I can have that gold extracted out and I can use it. But the gold buried under the Mount Meru, because Mount Meru cannot be moved, so that gold it cannot be moved out. It remains there forever. Same way, Abhaviji, one who has no potential for liberation, he is not able to obtain liberation, just like that gold buried under the Mount Meru. And we are the people like that uh, gold in the mine in which you can take the dirt and the dirt, uh, dirt and the purify and gold can come out. So these are kind of differentiation we can make it. It's kind of we are just making the diversion just to give the definition of Bhavijiv and Abhavijiv. Now remember, Bhavijiv doesn't mean that you will have absolutely obtain liberation. Bhavijiv means he if he puts his personal effort in the right direction then he has ch ch chance of getting liberation for example there is a uh, there is a girl who is not married yet it's a young girl 15 16 20 24 year old young young girl but if she gets married, she has potential to create a, a, a produce children. Because now she is married and now she can have the children. Though she is not married right now, but when she gets married, she can have children. On the other side of the coin, there's a widow. Widow, her husband is dead right now. So she will she has potential to make children but she will never have children because she is not going to get married because she's widow so there are certain living beings are there that they have potential for liberation but they are so far behind that they have no interest in the philosophy at all and so it will take longer 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 time for them to get liberation uh, coming to the right path so important thing is we are on the right path we have potential for liberation we are bhavijiv we are going to put our effort and we will obtain right faith and then we'll for, go further so that's what it is that we have to think about next now each substance of the six substances of the universe are independent from the same first slide first that, that, that stands up that we read it says six substances of the universe they are independent matter is independent soul is independent 
media of motion, media of race, space and time, they are pure and independent that we know about it. But even matter and soul, they are independent and no, never react with anybody else. This is a matter particle combined together, came in the form of a, of a telephone, cell phone. But that is independence of its own. It is created certain sometimes back. It will remain like this for a while, and in the future, it may get destroyed. It may get degenerated. But it will be independence of that substance. This soul here, this soul came in association with this physical body. Physical body has its own independence. My soul has its own independence. And they came to they came with association, they'll have a dissociation, but soul will remain as a soul forever, and matter will remain as a matter forever. Last answer also has proved matter cannot be destroyed, cannot be created, it just changes the form. So science is along with the Jain philosophy, and it, it just says that not only matter, but here we just say all the six universal substances, they are independent, they were near, never created, never be destroyed, and they are there forever. Second one says there is no dependency on any outside thing. My own existence, me means remember, me is soul. My own existence as a soul doesn't need any dependency from anything outside. What will happen if I don't get food tomorrow? What will happen if I don't get food for one week or one month or whatever, whatever? Well, my soul will remain independent. It doesn't depend on anything. So all the six universal substances, they have no dependency on any outside thing. It means one substance doesn't depend on the other substance. So then, no substance can be beneficial or detrimental to the other. Or oh, since that cell phone got came in my house, my mom, my life is miserable. I I just to check my messages every moment here and there. I cannot even I go to the bathroom. I take my phone with me. I, I suppose I forget the phone to go to work. Oh my God! What happened? How can I go? So um, it, it, it does a soul may, uh, does a cell phone makes my life easier or difficult? It cannot be anything. That substance is not detrimental or beneficial to me. What was the life thirty years back, twenty five years back, twenty years back when there was no cell phones? Life was there. What was the life when the planes were not there, cars were not there? Life was there. So no substance can be beneficial detriment to others because they are independent of their own. One who does not accept, remember now, now, one who does not accept this soul, the six substances, is the unfortunate living being and will never be liberated in the future. He is one of those Abhavijiv. No, I do understand. I know the six substances. I have faith in them. I understand them. I know what they can do and what they cannot do. I know the relationship with me as a soul. I know those things. Once I know it, then I have to put it into action. This is good for me, me as a soul. I'm good for myself and I'm away from other substances. If I know that part, that means I'm on the right path. Now, out of the six substances, which one is wholesome and which one is censurable? There is a, uh, in a, uh, Jain philosophy, there are three words are coming. He, Gne, and Upade. He means censurable, means one which, which is discardable. Upade, which is beneficial to me, and may means one to whom I have to know about it. He, gne, upade. Upade, what is, which one is wholesome for me? Which are the things 
I can have a, a, a which are which are uh, discardable for me. So let's see what it says. One's own eternal, indivisible, all knower soul substance is only wholesome for me. Remember, I'm the soul substance. But even in my soul substance, there are divisions also, there are parts and everything. So, what is important for me? My eternal, indivisible, all knower soul substance is a sensual or wholesome for me. Means, what does it mean? Means that someone is called Upade for me. That someone I'm going to worship. That someone I'm going to know and I'm going to get engrossed within. And once I know and get engrossed within, that's called right faith, right faith, that's called enlightenment, that's called samyak darshan. And once I get engrossed completely within, then the soul goes to the uh, uh, omniscience phase, and he becomes omniscient, and ultimately he that soul gets liberated. So for my liberation process, what I need. Is a wholesome thing. What is that wholesome thing? Eternal, indivisible, all knower, soul substance is the wholesome thing for me. Rest of all, now, rest of the others, now I'm talking about my soul in second bullet, I'm talking about my soul. So what about you people? You people are not in my sphere of action. My sphere of action is limited to my soul only. And my soul is occupying this body right now. So my soul has its own area of influence. Even my, me as a soul and this body are occupying same space point, but, but body remains separate and soul remains separate and I am the soul. My sphere of action is within me. So you are the souls. Your sphere, sphere, sphere of action is within your limitation of the soul. So that way, for me, you all are the non-soul. Non-soul means you are not soul for me because I am the soul. And so I have no relationship with you. You are away from me. You are object of my knowledge and that's it. So other souls matter. Of course, we know matter is a, a, a alien object. Medium of motion, medium of race, space and time. They all are the object of knowledge of the eternal soul. And that is me. Me as a all know our soul substance. I have capacity to know all of you, all the matter particles in the universe, medium of motion, medium of race, space, and time, everything I know about it. I have capacity to know also. So for me as a soul, other souls are also object of knowledge only. And that is very a radical principle to understand. Of course, I have a relationship with the other souls and everything. I mean, you know, during my day-to-day -day work and everything, I come in contact with so many other people and everything. But at the same time, on the back of my mind, I know that my sphere of action remains within my soul only. And my soul cannot do the function of matter. Matter cannot do the function of the soul. I cannot do the function of uh, 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 my cell phone. Cell phone cannot do the function for me and everything. Sure, Siri can do everything for you. Siri, call this guy. Siri, send me this message. Send this message. Oh, those are the associative things are there. Don't get... It, if we get so much impressed with the capacity of the pudgal, this little thing that we have in the hand, few ounces it weighs, and it can do whole world's thing. Can give me news for the world and everything, can, it can do whatever I want to do, can give me directions, can give me time, can give me where, all those things. 
that's a capacity of the pudgal matter matter if i'm impressed with the capacity of the matter imagine who am i i'm the conscious element far 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 better than any matter things so if i get impressed with this new gizmo then i should also get impressed with my eternal soul substance now i said far 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 better it's not a right word there is no comparison with the matter and the soul i, I cannot compare the apples to or the dead come it's like comparing apples with the oranges matter is a matter and soul is a soul soul has an infinite capacity soul exists forever and soul has a capacity to know self and know everything else so that's why soul is a wonderful things that is that is there and that's why i am the soul i have consciousness and so everything else away from me so those are the things we have to keep in mind they all are knowable object who are the knowable object other souls matter video motion video grace space and time they are knowable object for the knowing capacity of the soul a gnana gneche you know some of the sanskrit words also we should get exposed to that gnan is a knowledge and gne means knowable object gnan is a knowing gnan is a capacity to know and knowable object so this gnan this knowledge knows this objects so this is gne this is gnan why this is called gne because this guy has a capacity to know and that's why they are knowable object gnana gneche all the everything else besides my own soul substance are the gne means of the knowable objects for me these are the thing you learned so remember i mean you you, you by, by now you already know all these things you know from acceptance and rejection purpose they are censurable grahan tyagni apeksha hai means all this rest of the substance rest of the other souls matter medium motion medium of rays space and time all those substances i cannot accept i cannot reject because they are independent of their own so because i cannot accept and i have never accepted so there is no question of rejection so that's why they are all censurable they are to be uh, 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 they are only no, uh, object of knowledge and i don't I, i don't have to pay any attention to that one i don't have to pay uh, 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 put my all my efforts to know them and everything i just know they are there and that's all that's all i am i have to do all my finite capacity i have to put it on to know the infinite eternal soul substance i have finite time on this earth can i make it yes you can make it acharya bhagwan says yes you can make it yes you can make it provided you put your heart into it so next thing benefit of knowing six substances there is nothing more than six substances in the universe if anybody says there are more than six substances or less than six substances that's not true according to jain philosophy according to omniscient lord who has experienced the whole universe he is experiencing right now and as a result of that he he he, he uh, gave the divine omkar sound and from the divine omkar sound 12 original scriptures are created and in that one omniscient lord says there are no more than six universal substances in the universe all four expositions means prathman yog karnan yog charnan yog dravyan yog uh, uh, history telling scripture conduct related scripture mathematical type of scripture and metaphysics the all four expositions 
they mention only this six substances. There is no seven, there is no five, six substances. One who ends up knowing the real nature of this six substance has a faith in them. For last almost seven, eight months that we are talking all these substances, now we know the real nature of those substances. And as a result, now I have a faith. Faith in the sense, this is matter. And there is, I have the associative relationship with me. And if that, that, suppose that the phone gets lost tomorrow. And on top of it, I didn't have find my iPhone button kept on. So it's gone. What can you do? Nothing. It, it was supposed to happen to that phone. It did happen. That's it. So those are the, okay, what happens if this body gets diseased tomorrow? It's terminal disease. That disease is occurring to the matter, not to me. If I have that kind of understanding, even that kind of understanding, right understanding, then my pains and anxiety will be much, 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 much reduced. It gives me time to go within my eternal soul substance, you know. So I have faith, of course, in these substances when I know that. Knowing gives the faith. If you don't know anything about it, how can you have faith on it? You are never going to South, uh, 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 I mean, South Pole. So, and uh, suppose that you have never seen the, any, uh, 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 I mean, uh, the, the PBS series or anything like that. You know nothing about that country, that, that continent. How can you have faith on it then if you don't know anything about it? But once you know it indirectly, then at least you have some faith occurring that, oh yeah, I would like to go there. Or no, I don't want to do any uh, expedition there. So faith occurs when I know the, the, the knowledge of those substances. Now knowing the six substances and putting faith in them, he knows the nature of his own eternal, indivisible, all knower true nature of soul completely. I knew medium of motion, I knew medium of race, I knew space, I knew time, I knew matter, and I knew soul also. And knowing all those things, I said, what is wholesome for me? Soul substance is wholesome for me. These are the things, they are object of my knowledge. If I know that one, that means my liking for eternal soul substance becomes solidified. Remember that little small child who wants to learn how to walk? He stands up, he falls down. But he's determined. So he stands up again and falls down. He, every day he tries to stand up, he's falling down. But he does not lose his uh, uh, determination. One day he is able to stand without support, and other day he starts walking because he knew it's going to happen. He had determination that I'm going to make it. So that way, when I have the determination of me as a soul substance, I'm going to put faith on it, and I'm going to go within as much as possible. So these are the things that we have to learn about it. Now, when I know that myself completely, what happens as a result? When I know myself completely, means who am I? Who kon chu kya thi thayo su sarupche maru kharu ko na sabande varagana ke raaku ke parihu. This image wrote down that stands up in Bahupunya Kerala Punjati. So, once you know yourself completely, then I'm the pure soul, and if I put my faith on the pure soul, then the modification coming out will be pure by themselves, and that way my karmic bondage staying with me for time infinite will start shaking down, their building block starts shaking down, they start getting disintegrated, and ultimately all the karma bondage went out, and ultimately, I end up going for the liberation. How it happened? 
First, I knew the six substances. I have faith in those six substances. Then out of those, I put my, my intense faith on my eternal soul substance. And putting that faith, putting that faith, experiencing the soul substance gave you self-realization. Self That's a fourth spiritual developmental stage. Chaturth Gunsthana. Enlightenment, self-realization, self-experiencing. Whatever name you want to give it up, you can give. And now, once that thing occurs, then you want to get engrossed within yourself. And once you get getting engrossed better and better, and more and more time inside, then all the karma particles start disintegrating. And ultimately, you become karma, one becomes karma free, and he becomes, he's called Siddha Bhagwan then. I have potential, we can make it. You have potential, you can make it. We all are just like Mahavir. Srimad Rajchandra Ji said that Ameto Bija Mahavir I am the second Mahavir. You mean was he in, a, in his great ego talking that way? No way, Jose. No. What he said? Mahavir means the really liberated soul. And I also have capacity to liberate myself. So I can become Mahavir also. So that's what he meant to say that. People who don't know, then they just say this is an egoistic statement. That's not true. You have to understand what, what he meant to say. Once you get liberation, he enjoys the eternal bliss and knowledge forever. And he's he gets happiness forever. Uninterrupted bliss, uninterrupted knowledge, uninterrupted happiness. That is, he's in the Siddha Sila, he's enjoying that uh, Adobe of Siddha, the, the uh, bliss, knowledge, happiness, everything together. So this, the, that's why I have to know the no, six substances. Do I want to get, do I want some aggression? Yes. Do I want to go further on the path to, to liberation? Yes. Can I get liberated? Yes. All those things are yes. Then I have to understand six substances, which we have tried very hard to understand all these things. Now, there is a, 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 a Panchastika stanza 103 comes. Evam Payanasaram, Evam Pavayanasaram, Panchatthiya Sangaham, Vinasitta, Jo Muyaddi Ragado Se So Gahadi Dukkhada Parimokham, J. A. Rita Pravachana Sar Rupa Panchasti Sangraha Janine, J. Jeeva Chode Ragadveshala Hesakala Dukhamokane. So, what this one says, this stanza says, it says, there is nothing more than six substances in the universe that we know about it. One ends up knowing these substances. Okay, I end up knowing this substances, out of which he makes determination of his own eternal, indivisible, all-knower soul substance. He makes determination. He ends up knowing the attachment of karmic particles uh, associated with the soul. This uh, once I know the real nature of the soul, then I know that this soul is mixed up with a lots of karmic dust. But then I also know that the soul, in spite of having association with the karmic particles, karma and vargana, me as a soul always remains pure. This gold present in the mind mixed with the dirt is there for ages in the mind. Now you went and you dug it out and you took that dirt with you. You brought that dirt at home and you know the process. So you put that dirt into the fire. Once you put the dirt in the fire, then the dirt remained on one side and the gold came out on the other side. Gold, even though with the association with that dirt for long, long time, 
does not become dirt and dirt does not become gold. Gold remains gold particle, dust, dirt remains dust particle and you separate the, them out. So here, once I make determination of the, all the six substances as well as my eternal soul substance, then I also end up knowing the attachment of karma, carbon particles with me. Carbon particles are attached with me. I know that. I acquired those carbon particles in the past. Now I know them. They are there. Now I know that they are also coming in fruition. And they give me situation. All those things I'm aware of it. Now, he has discriminating knowledge to separate self from the alien belongings. Once he knows the eternal soul substance and he knows the attachment of karma, karma and particles associated with the soul, then he has discriminating knowledge to separate soul from the alien belonging. Alien belonging is over here the uh, 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 karmic, uh, karmic, uh, karmic particles. And also, my relationship with the family, society at large, country at large, all those alien belongings I have it. Yes, I still continue maintain those relationships, but I know they are away from me. They are not my part of it. I need to be separated out from them. Once I have it, then I don't have interest in those people. I don't have interest in those objects. I don't have any interest in those alien belonging. I don't have interest in those karmic particles because they are, they are not part, part of me. He discards alien belonging, means he discards the relationship with the other people. He discards the relationship with the society. He discards the relationship with the attachment with the body. He discards a relationship with the, his rag and dvesh. And he also now gets engrossed in his eternal true nature of the self. That's what the stanza said. He ends up with the liberation from all transmigratory bondage and obtains eternal bliss, eternal knowledge, and he gets never ending happiness thereafter. So these are the steps given. You know, what Jain philosophy is so unique. No matter from whatever angle you start, talk, start talking, ultimately it will bring you to the liberation point. Here we are talking from the six substances point of view. When we go through the samaisa, when we are going to be in the 13th stanza and everything, for example, then there'll be there'll be description for seven tattva will come seven elements will come and I get separated from seven elements then I can get self-realization. When I'm in the punya of the auspicious, inauspicious inclination chapter, then it says you go getting liberated from those things, then you can get self-realization. So bottom line is no matter what subject you take it, Philosophy will drag you to the eternal soul substance. From whatever angle you are just trying to see. Here we are talking from six universal substance point of view. A artha jani anugamana udyam kari hani mohne prashamavi ragadvesa jiva uttar purava virahit bane. This is another Panchastika stanza, 104 stanza. What it says, how come one ends up knowing his eternal soul, uh, nature of the self, and removes his misery, which is present since time infinite? Acharya Bhagwan, at the end of the writing, all the six substances, he throws this kind of a concluding sentence. that. How come you know the eternal soul substance and it removes misery of the infinite time since before? How can it happen? So Acharya Bhagavan gives his answer to us. He says, one ends up knowing eternal true knowledge of the omniscient Lord first. Tirthankar Bhagavan, what is Mahavir? What is Mahavir's soul doing? How did Mahavir purify his soul? How did Parsnath purify his soul? How did all the 
general omniscient lord they remove they 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 they, they end up with the eternal happiness how did they do it so i end up knowing their nature how they have done those things so i read the scripture i see this old stories and their conduct and their self realization how they obtain everything so i end up knowing the he ends up knowing eternal true nature of the omniscient lord now he knows that he has same potential within same as omniscient lord there is one mahavir mahavir pujan mahavir pujan at the end there are two lines are coming bhut kal prabhu aapka vah mera vartaman vartaman jo aapka mam bhavishya tu jaan hey lord mahavir whatever you were in the past i am at that present moment right now your past is my present moment but mahavir whatever your present whatever is your present will be my future means i will become like you i'm taking the vow that i will become like you so once he, i once i know mahavir's eternal soul substance then i know i have same potential within me i can become omniscient lord i can become kevli bhagwan so he ends up directing his faith to his eternal self his faith was directed to alien objects of the universe since time infinite and now he brings his faith back to him remember faith attribute has only two modifications faith attribute Sraddha Gaur has only two potential things. One, you can have a faith on the alien objects, or other thing, you can have faith to your eternal soul substance. There's nothing in between. So when I know about the omniscient Lord, how He created those things, how He was Marichi in the past, how He became Mahavir, I know that whole story. Then I can become also Lord like Mahavir. because i have potential within me so i put my faith within me i put my faith to the eternal soul now when i put my faith within me means it's called right faith which is called samyak darshan means a wrong faith means mithya darshan disappears right away just like the when i i, I light the match stick or in the dark room i put the switch on bulb gives the light and at the same very moment the darkness disappears same way when i bring my faith to my eternal soul substance on the same moment my wrong faith disappears now he is enlightened man now he has samyak darshan now he has atma darshan now he has self realization so he further engrosses in the eternal self and destroys all his karmic bondage and then he gets further he gets liberated that way see so he obtains liberation so these are the basically knowing six substances all the thing that we knew so far now we are putting concise thing we just say i need to narrow down my circle and my important thing out of whole is a smorgas board of all the facts in front of me i know those things i know matter i know medium of motion i know medium of rest space and time but they are to be kept away from me i have to go within and so ultimate aim of knowing soul six universal substances is to know what is the best for me to know what is to be avoided i need to know what are the things can come on my pathway which can throw the obstacle i should avoid that one i have to know the nature and avoid that one so those are the things that i have to know about it we will continue this one next week there are few more slides remaining and hopefully we'll be able to do closing next week 
and thereafter, the week after, we'll be starting new chapter. We are completing the chapter on substance. Now we'll go to the attribute, and then we'll go to the modes: substance, dravya, attributes, gun, modes, parya. So dravya, gun, parya. Once we know all those three things, then we know the nature of the soul completely. So those are the things. We have taken the vow to just understand all these things. We are on the right path. We are going to continue these things and we'll see how it progresses. Any questions so far? No? Okay. We'll do closing then, okay? Javani ke gyan se suje loka log so vani mastaka namo sada deta hodo. Nine times no more commentary. Jai Jangra, Nitsha Indukram.